All right, how to use the Pachinko machine. Pachinko machine. Um, so I guess there's a key here, but I'm not sure what that's used for because you can still access it without the key. Um, to open the window in case balls get stuck, there is a little mechanism here in the back. Basically, you just hold it like this and you spin it, flip it up and it releases the window. Once the window is open, there's a little button down here. Just push down and open. Opens this. This is the little mechanism that shows you the, the flag, if the flag is up or down, right? So we're gonna close this back up. And the window just needs to be pushed in. The window is glass, so be careful about you know, breaking it. <laughs> um, okay. And then in the back, we have to make sure that this is in this position, otherwise it releases all the balls that are in the tray. Since there aren't any, uh, nothing is getting released. But uh, to make a little demonstration, okay, so now let's get a couple more. Okay, so there are balls in the tray now, and if I were to open this, they get released. Um, you can either access it from the back here, or if this were to be wall mounted, this mechanism is activated by a little pin that you would put through this little hole here to just uh, empty the, uh, the remaining balls. So once this is in its right position, and that this as well, sometimes it may come off, but you just kind of press it in like this. Make sure that this groove goes inside a little hole. You will see it down there. And then you would let go and make sure that it's you know, well positioned. And the other thing to check for, I left a little um, uh, tape here. It's this little button that gets pushed up. Sometimes, sometimes the mechanism for releasing the, uh, the winning ball gets stuck like this, right? And in order to not make it stuck, first of all, I moved the uh, the counterweight a little further to the left so it would balance it out. But sometimes it may still get stuck um, depending on how aggressive you play. Um, and to release it, you just press the button to reset it. It's just this, you just do it once, it gets clipped and everything is good. Now the machine is ready to play, um, almost. As you can see, here there is a flag showing, which means that there isn't enough balls in the, uh, in, in the tray. So in order to make the flag go down, you just need to put balls here. Oh. There we go, there's not enough. It's up and down. Keep on going. The flag is going up a little bit. The more balls I put. That is because as the balls get backed up, as they get backed up over here, they will push, they will push on this little system here that will raise or, or lower the flag. So when it's down, that means that the, the tray is full and you can play. One thing I noticed is that there's two switches. Um, there are two lamps here, but they're set up in parallel, which means that if current goes to one, it'll light both of them. My idea is to, since I noticed that one switch is getting uh, released before the other, as you can see, one is getting released and then the other gets released. I'm going to make the system show you um, two different uh, amounts of, um, uh, of balls in the magazine. Uh, one light will say, well, when both of them are on, that means it's completely full. When one of them is on, it's half full. And when they're both off, that means there's nothing left. So let's uh, start looking at this uh, electric system. And um, one thing I noticed right off the bat is that these two wires actually just go directly to the switch and nothing else. So I'm gonna rewire this to make the, uh, the two lights show you the, um, uh, the amount of balls left. All right.